This is Melissa McGinnis with Long Beach Local News. We are in one of the most iconic spots here in Long Beach, VIP Records, with its founder, Kelvin, Kelvin Anderson, correct? Right, right, Kelvin Anderson. Nice to see you here today. Thanks for coming out. Well, I know this is a little bit of a bittersweet time of year, if you will. It's, it's the end of the year, but it's also an end of an era where you're going to be closing up shop for good, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, after being here for 36 years, it's time to uh, do some other things. It's been great 36 years, but uh, uh, the business have changed a lot and uh, not too many people buying CDs anymore today. So instead of uh, just having these records, you know, displayed, you created something in the back, a little bit of a recording studio. Uh, yeah, I would say in the uh, uh, late 80s, uh, after looking at the big success of NWA and those guys in Compton and then the next big movement uh, hip hop wise was uh, Too Short and E-40 and those guys in the Bay Area. And I decided that, man, I'd like to do something cool like that here in Long Beach. So I connected with a young man uh, in L.A. Uh, named Sir Jinx. And Sir Jinx is actually recorded uh, related to Dr. Dre. And he took me over to Dr. Dre's house and he showed me this machine and he asked me did I know what it was and I said no, I have no idea. And he said well it's called an SP-1200 drum machine. He said it's a virtual studio. He said if you get that I can help you. And uh, I'm like okay, I, I really didn't even, didn't even know him but I knew Dre. So we went down the street to the guitar center and I spent $2,500 and bought a new drum machine and gave it to him. Four months later, he came back to me and he said, okay, I'm ready now. So I had a storage room in the back of the store, so I went and cleaned it out and set it up, set up a makeshift studio at the time, which was two turntables, the drum machine, and a, we were mixing everything down to a cassette. So uh, I set that up. Uh, Another reason why I did that is because, you know, it was like pretty rough during that time with a lot of gang violence and stuff like that. I felt like that that would be a safe place for kids to come hang out all day if they like and, uh, you know, work on their skills. So that's kind of how it turned out. Well, it turned out really great. What other artists were you instrumental in helping get their careers off the ground? Well, of course, everyone knows that this is the home of Snoop Doggy Dogg. <laughs> At the time, uh, after working with one young man uh, that went by the stage name of Radio, uh, we helped them get a deal with Interscope Records. So the next uh, act that we worked with was uh, 213, which consists of uh, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, and Nate Dogg. And uh, they had this perfect blend of talent that was just unbelievable. So uh, we are did a four cut demo on them where I shopped it all around the industry and unfortunately for me I wasn't able to secure a deal but uh, immediately after that Warren took the same demo tape to Dr. Dre and Dre heard it one time and he was like blown away matter of fact uh, it's, it's said that the uh, following night he had Snoop in the studio doing this cut 187 on the deep cover soundtrack which is the cut that propelled him into stardom Wow, well, I have chills just listening to this history. You really single-handedly put Long Beach on the map from a global perspective. We can't thank you enough. Well, yeah, it was, like I said, it was a great run. Uh, uh, you know, I feel real good about the things that I accomplished here in the city. Uh, you know, this is I spent more time here in Long Beach than I have any single place. Hopefully we're not done yet. Uh, we plan to live on online uh, through our website, which is uh, worldfamousvprecords.com. Uh, I'm, we'll be keeping the same phone number that I've had for 36 years, which is 562-591-2349. Uh, and uh, our email address is viplb at aol.com. And you'll be here through the end of December, correct? I'll be here through the end of December. Not so sure if the sign will be here. It just went up on eBay. No, are you serious? Yeah, uh, you know what? It would uh, kill me to drive down the street and see anything else on that sign but world famous VIP records. So, uh, you know, I've already decided a long time ago that when I go, it goes. So we just listed it on eBay. 
Wow. Well, listen, if you hadn't, if you haven't gotten a chance to meet Kelvin, he really is a superstar. The man behind the mask, if you will. Get down here while do- his doors are still open and buy some of this incredible legendary inventory that you have left. Oh, yeah. You're, people have been coming in, you know, picking up a few items, T-shirts, hoodies, you know, a little memorabilia stuff. And, uh, you know, hey, we're going to be here until the end. Well, not only did you put Long Beach on the map, I think you also instilled some hope in the citizens here that there's a bigger life out ahead if you just work hard and get lucky. Well, that's true, and uh, we're working on a few things. Uh, I'm very interested in possibly uh, building a recording studio from the ground, uh, along with a radio station, maybe online station. And uh, I have dreams of uh, creating this music museum here in the city and in this museum will feature everything from the eight track to the cd so and if you can imagine all the other things between that you know the 45s the uh cassette all of those items and i feel that it would be a very um um i would say it would be for the kids and you know that don't know anything about that i think it would be a, a huge uh, plus for them to come not only uh, see but feel, touch, and operate equipment that's uh, part of our musical history. I think there's no other city that would that would be more appropriate in than here in Long Beach. Oh, without a doubt. You know, this is, uh, you know, for many, many years, uh, this was hip-hop capital. Wow. Well, wherever you go, may you have your heart full of all of us here in Long Beach because we just cheer you and applaud you along. And thank you so much for what you've done for us. Thanks for coming out and visiting with me. Thank you, Kevin. Long Beach News. We got our own news network. Hello.